All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Link, Link Click, Click Season, Season 2, Episode, episode 12. 12. All right. So. Season finale. Bang. Mm hmm Dej. Dej. Like, that's, mm -hmm. okay. I think, I think we might be not sticking with this timeline. I think, I think this season might end with like a big, a big, d d press the reset button in a case big, of emergencies. A big, you know? like, well, remember that thing about, said about not changing the past? <laughs> yeah. I lied. <laughs> we need to change the past. <laughs> I need you to do everything that I told you not to do right now. <laughs> right, right, right. But in a yeah. very specific way. <laughs> Or, or it gets to the point where it's like, originally I was going to tell you in a specific way, but just make it not this. You know? Right, right, right. Or it's the thing of where it's like, now, Cheng Shi, no matter what happens, you have to not change this. <laughs> yeah. And then it's just like, you know, everything just goes fucked yeah. and you're just like, what do you mean I can't do that? That, that, that feels very, uh, almost like Megamind of the... You're going to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I missed that part. You are destined for... <laughs> yeah, right. What? Wait, that, that... Sounded like it could have been important. Yeah, yeah. Destined for what? Oh, man. Oh, my God. But we are destined to fall and... <laughs> right. Uh -huh. Put everything in reverse. And, yep, yep. Yeah. What brand of crazy has Mr. Kian descended to? And is it something that's manageable? You know? Cause yeah, or is he just going to start, you know, just... Bop, bop, right. Bop, what, bop. What's All your right, game plan here, Mr. Kian? Go, go save them. And 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 me. Yeah. And then... Bop, you know? Just <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, there's a lot of... There's a lot of mess. It's a big mess right now. It's Clean up on aisle... Timeline. Clean up on a high old tunnel timeline. Yes, yep. exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Here we go. Here we go. Fuck! Yeah, she's gone. And then the next one goes through him. Yep. Yep. Oh, he really got close. Oh! Shit! Oh, fuck! Fuck! I mean, you're not gonna beat him. I mean... <laughs> just keep swinging! Yeah. All right, so now, oh, no way, he got lucky. No shot. Damn it, yeah, damn it, yeah, ah, that's... watch out for the rails. I keep waiting for someone's head to hit it too yeah, hard. Uh-huh. Okay. The after, yeah, oh. that's, you've been shot. Hey, hey, let's tag team this bitch. Yeah, 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 two on one. Yeah, uh. yeah. Lu we we really need the, the other cop to show up right about now. Chow Ling, come in with a roundhouse kick, for yeah, yeah. sake. God, this choreography is sick. Yes! Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> they got a that was stylish. Hot. That was hot! <laughs> oh my god! Let's go! Damn, damn. He's just... Yeah, I... He's just basically a soldier they're fighting mm -hmm. right now, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh all Let's right. Let's go! Okay, Knock okay. a tooth out! Yeah. Beat his ass! Get the gun and oh, pistol whip oh. him. Oh, shit. Ow, ow, oh, ow, 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 ow. His wounds opened up a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's... Yeah, yeah, let's get the Terminator walk. Yeah, damn it. Damn it. Ow! Oh, shit! That sounded bad. That was real bad. Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. You don't have your bulletproof vest. Wait! Oh, they probably took his gun, I guess. Oh! Oh! <laughs> go. Yeah, yeah, help. Oh, shit. Oh shit! You can do so much. Yeah, yeah. you can end this. Oh! No! Oh! That's that was the e yeah, shit right yeah. there. Holy Chowder shit! Punch! Oh! 
The boys softened him up. Yeah, body oh. blow. Oh! Get fucked, yes! Dude, this is so good! Yeah! And the music, too! Oh, alright, alright, yes. okay. Oh! 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 That. That was bad! Oh, he almost broke his knee, I think, like. Something. No way. No way. Oh, shit. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Did she just enter? So now she's, like, not gonna die because she's just, like, in Chelling's body now? Oh, just giving her oh. everything. Yeah. Okay. Take my memories. Take my... I'll show you everything. Yeah. Uh, so it's the oh this has all been my fault see it now mm -hmm. because this is what I had to see and it's slow One last hug. Everything's okay now. Oh. Yeah. 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 Love that effect. Right. Uh -huh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, poor kid. Right. <laughs> no. Fuck. In some ways, they're finding their voice maybe out of her own desperate desire to find her voice, you know? Sure. Well, and also... Maybe able to actually experience the grief, you know? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Wow, yep. And, and because of that, they died, yeah. Oh, oh boy. And well. she's been carrying that weight all this time. No way. No way. Huh? So because she turned off her power and he lost control? Wait, but... <laughs> oh, wow. Oh my gosh. That is hilarious. And that's what makes him yep. snap out of it and be like, you're right, I do want to go back. Okay. So then did the Merc just go and kick him off the edge once he saw that he snapped out of it? I don't know, because it... He it looked like he had already disappeared down the stairwell. <laughs> oh, that was a beautiful shot, the, right? the film over the uh -huh. eyes. Oh, and over the mouth. Nice. That's terrifying. Yeah, yeah, and then he goes back into the storybook. Yeah. Oh, that's great. This is incredible. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. And then it 
goes away. Yeah, because she's dead. I go. Oh. Okay. Wow, this is a much, much better conclusion than, than like I thought it was gonna be. Oh. The other, um, oh. the other brother. Oh, so this was actually the one that they saw in the past, maybe? Or, well, no, no, it probably was the other one. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so, uh-huh, okay. No way. It's eerie how much he looks like Chen Jiaxi, you know? Mm -hmm. Why here, though? What's the... Wait. Wait. Well, because she was feeling his, his No, own. but if she read Lu Guang's memories and then passed things on to Chao Ling... Oh, fuck! Yeah, yeah. Wow. Gotcha, so when... Oh, shit! Okay. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> His stupid smile. Yeah. Ah, wait. Ah, I'm going to go sleep. <laughs> I have dealt with a lot of stuff recently. I'm okay. Right. No more parallel stuff. I want a canon timeline. Yeah, yeah. Mm. 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 Yes, okay, okay. So, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, okay. All right, okay. season two finale, and yep. now we wait for the season, for season three. Because <laughs> they, they set up a, a hell of a, uh, like, not just one antagonist. They set up, like, a whole a whole slew of things for season three. Uh, so, a whole slew of things. So, one, we had it confirmed, yes, you fucker, yeah, Lu Guang, course. you were... You were not just um, holding back on us with uh, regards to your knowledge and that you are, mm -hmm. you know, someone from the future. Yep. But also, you could have done this any number of times, which I think the music was definitely implying. Sure. Yep. Also, you might have even set up something with regards to there being parallel universes and stuff because you broke a junction. Yeah. That's that's yeah. very like, real possibility. Yeah, that, that whole, like, starting the, the new antagonist bringing him in with like amusing about the mechanics of 
time travel in a right. time travel show is really fun. Is really fun because we but then, don't know if they have a power or what they have a power if they do. Well, and and, and the show has never confirmed whether we're talking about changing the timeline or mm-hmm. alternate timelines, right. right? Yeah, like that's never been something that's actually been like it, it fully never, it never was, fully solidified. Yeah, it was never relevant for the story for us right. to get into that, the, and thus the, we never did exactly because. Even the things that we were being told about how time travel worked were from Lu Guang, and Lu Guang was absolutely not telling the truth. No. <laughs> so, you know, that's that's its whole thing. So I'm just glad that it's fun that they're like, yeah, you, you've waited long enough. Lu Guang's going to confirm it. But mm-hmm. also confirming that there's other things at play here. Lu uh-huh. Guang, um, uh, Lu Guang, this is something, this is something I'm actually like really curious about. He specifically did the clap thing there. Lu Guang can't do that. As far as well, we knew. As far as we have been told. As yeah. far, well, no, as far as we have like right. known, but also uh-huh. like, like oh, yeah. No, th- yeah, there's so many, there's so many questions that come about just from that because a lot of the conflicts of this show have come about as a result of the like the limitations. Um, the limitations, the yeah. the one of us, one of them, the 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 um, straight laced cop, the loose cannon. You know where it's the hey, the loose cannon is the one that actually can affect the change. So the straight laced man in the chair has to be like, okay, d- you know, be responsible now. This is I a have big to guide deal. You, yeah. yeah, I have to guide you. But if he was able to actually do things this whole time, then it's like, okay, that's pretty crazy. But then also right, from the standpoint or... of the ramifications of Chin Shashi dying, that puts it almost entirely into, if you think about it, the emotional reason of somebody that I care about died because it's not the, oh no, we can't fix the timeline because he's trying to do that, right? So of course, you know, I I don't even know why I thought that that would have been a problem, you know, right? And so, okay. Yeah, there's, there's a, there's a lot of, right. And so, so, so so I think, I think the part that's the most um, uh, crazy here is that we are in a world where, we have powers and mm-hmm. stuff, and uh, we have a a world where Cheng Jiaoshi or Cheng Jiaoshi is a a time traveler. He yep. can actually affect the past. Mm-hmm. We do have a full uh, world lines uh, world building established here by a character that we have no reason to doubt anything that they're saying because they have not been characterized or limited in any capacity other than right. their introduction showing that they did influence uh Li Tian Shen right. back then because mm-hmm. that was not Min Liu right. with like unbleached hair. That was the brother. Yeah. Which means a, a couple things. And we, uh-huh. we we don't really know yeah, which it's, ones it's not. Well, so that's yeah, a whole and that's, mess there that they'll save for season three. And from the standpoint of if you're going to have an antagonistic character that has basically gone on an arc over the course of the story, mm-hmm. And we get to the point where we understand them a lot better. Still, be an antagonist for antagonist going forward. Right. Um, they've lost everything now. They've lost everything. Yeah. And well, well, not necessarily everything. Well, no, yeah, no, no they, they, no, they lost they everything. Lost right? everything. They left the phone behind. They, yeah, they, that, that they, was that was the signifying thing of yeah, I'm done. I am no longer trying to save my sister. Yep, right. Like I'm giving up. She's she's gone. You know. Yeah. And and so he now reached acceptance. Yeah. yeah. Right. And now it's now it's the the full loose cannon from the other side of things right Right. yeah and so it's just okay he will fully he will fully do basically whatever this person says probably because he now is going to be entirely kind of reshaped but because he has to find what he's doing this for but i think i think we have a very clear goal motivation what this guy is Mm -hmm. saying is that i can theoretically find you a world line a parallel universe basically where Things did go the right way. Sure, yeah, that that could be That's a different a long, aspect. Long, of, long, far flung hope. That that yeah. could be a different aspect of the leaving the phone behind. Is that it's not the, um, uh, I'm not going to do things my way anymore. Well, right, but the the approach that he had to trying to save his sister, yeah. is now gone. That's what I'm Until saying. he his gets his anymore. sister back, literally anything is on the table. You know, right? Like, there's there's no memory for him here. There's no anchoring yeah. point. Nothing to hold him back. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And the episode painstakingly and beautifully took us through the journey by having a very fun use of the powers that I think is one that I'm I'm totally fine with the stretch of it being something that's introduced here of the idea that as someone dies mm-hmm. um, yep. with one of these uh, crazy psychic powers, basically, where it's the, oh, okay. I give you basically a instantaneous trip through 
all of my memories or all the key yep. memories that shaped me, all mm -hmm. the powerful emotional ones. But because her ability allows her to see inhabit and breeze. see other people's emotions, memories, and all that, she then gives, in some ways, the biggest dump of all oh, time. Oh, yeah. That, that was a great way to tie that whole connection point in. Because, yeah. because Lu Guang has been deciding again and again to not trust the people around him. And so now it's getting to the point where it doesn't matter. Right. They're going to find out whether he wants them to or not. Right. And the thing is, is that the- And that's fun. That's that's fun. That's fun. And the thing that we got in this of the 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 more specific bombshell of, um, you know, uh, Chen Jiaoshi dies in a different timeline and so yes. he's trying to fix it, right? So okay. he's already fixed it effectively. Right. Yeah. But that- um, what this does is it makes it so that theoretically, um, Chaoling could start to remember mm -hmm. different things from his memories in addition to that, sure. if the story wanted to. And yep. so that's really fun because now she has another way to basically have agency in the dynamic yeah. of the trio beyond just the, yeah. she's the landlady and but so also, she's connected. But to also that. as a fun limitation here, I like that she didn't say... Cheng Zhao Shi was supposed to die on this day. Yeah, no, it's just she a, just. Oh, I saw a memory. Why does why he, does have he a remember him dying? So yeah, I think uh -huh. that what's really cool is that Chao Ling won't keep all that in some super archive. She doesn't have super memory. Nope. That was a very scary, intense moment. So she just saw it all linearly playing out. Yeah, and she's out. not going to remember all of it. And no. even if she does, she's not going to know. Like she's not going to have all the memories in perfect connection to each other, or even in order. Yeah, so yeah, the exactly. Idea that like she's going to become the super memory person I think is fun that they're not doing that and they're also not doing the other thing that I was worried that they were mm. going to do of having then a two bodies in one situation where right. it's the no the uh, sister is dead the sister is dead yeah. she is not inside of Chao Ling and kind of waiting for uh, a way to be yeah. placed back into another person now what's cool about this is that I say this because if they decide to do that way later, they still could. They and still could, yeah. but it, the reason why would be, in in my opinion, mm -hmm. a kind of a uh, uh, kind of uh, I don't really like it because what it does is it basically says that this big emotionally emotionally impactful finale hit home for me at least mm -hmm. i think for most of the characters here because she actually died this was the consequence of yeah. everybody's wills as the new uh uh liu br brother basically mm -hmm. uh coming in saying the power of people's wills personality and all these things carry weight and measure into what's going on here right but some fates cannot be changed like there are some things that even you know someone's will and someone's someone's uh, personality and all these other things kind of colliding together and other people's stuff still aren't going to stop that. So he's got some philosophical viewpoint of things right. that contradicts Lu Guang's thing right. of how he's like, no, I I have I I said that I agreed with that uh -huh. effectively, but actually I've been a hypocrite this whole yeah. time. And you know? there is a part of him that. And th there were there were a few things that were very interesting with how that went down. Yeah, one um, that when we got Lu Guang's internal perspective of mm -hmm. that whole thing, he still does believe that deaths cannot be changed, but he's going to try anyway. Yes, that's good to know because what that means is that Cheng Jiaoxi might still die in the future. R well, right. So we have that as a dangerous thing to look forward to. Right. But from the standpoint of. Um, it's another element of basically an unreliable narrator of sorts with regards mm -hmm. to the mechanics of how the time travel works, yep. which is helpful because then it's easier uh, to avoid the like writing the the story writing itself into a corner yeah. because oh we've said how everything works and then wait a minute what about this specific thing or whatever right yeah. and so even with this new antagonist he has this whole theory of how it works but the thing is we don't even necessarily know. If he has a power, or what his power is, why he thinks this is this because he's been right. studying, yeah. you know, we have no reason to and disbelieve all that what he's saying. Though. Well, but then on top of that, mm -hmm. if he's oh right, yeah, because it was internal thoughts and stuff, yeah. right? It wasn't just talking to, to no. the kid. No. Yeah, so he he, he believes this one hundred percent, and right. that's he his has, own will with regards to influence. Well, I mean, also he has at the very least some evidence to support this. People don't just come up with the idea of multiversal stuff and think about it as if it's a real thing without actual evidence to support it. That's where I think he does have a power. Mm. It's just what it is 
the story has left it open enough that it doesn't really matter right yeah. now what it is. Um, but I he will also, say... He also knew to connect with this kid mm -hmm. back when he was younger. Yep. Yep. Which is very convenient. Very, very convenient. And yeah, so if, probably a power. If the show wanted to have its cake and eat it with regards to the characters mm -hmm. having, like, Lu Guang having his perspective of certain nodes can't be changed, mm -hmm. right? Um, while at the same time having crazy stuff happen in the different ways that it is. Right. Um, if you do a multiverse theory mm -hmm. or, or a branching timeline theory. Right. Then theoretically, that might be why he doesn't think that time travel changes anything because mm. he's still on the same timeline. But maybe you're actually creating a branching timeline where all that stuff did get changed, but uh. the but the people he's not observing it and so he doesn't necessarily think it can happen, right? But then if you somehow peeled the onion back a layer further and then they realize like, you know, it's some truly crazy ridiculous set of things ended up happening, then it's the ah, now we figured out actually how to beat it. You know, we, whatever. Right, and that's that's where Lu Guang's second power, if you will, uh -huh. is actually what comes into play here. It's uh -huh. the idea that his observer thing isn't necessarily one that makes sense entirely as a, uh, he's just from the future. Right. I don't think that makes sense. He would, he, his brain would short circuit with the amount of stuff he'd have to just remember. So yeah. I think what that is, is that's an additional ability. Okay. And not like a subset of he's so good with his nope. time travel ability nope. that he can sort of micro nope. time travel nope. or whatever. Because nope. then we have the, you know, Lu Guang's done this 10,000, you know, times. Yeah, yeah. In a numerable uh -huh. amount of times. And, and in, in, in a lot of ways, I the story can do that mm -hmm. if it wants. But I think the simpler uh, way that they've been handling things is that they are different powers. The twins are the example of this. The twins are the, no, it is a different ability that mm -hmm. allows one to control versus one that allows someone to observe. observe. Yeah. And that is a direct parallel with what they had established before this episode with Lu Guang and uh, Cheng Zhao is that right. while their abilities are way stronger than, than the twins, is, mm -hmm. they're of it's, the same caliber of, uh, not the same caliber, they have the same um, root, if you will. Yeah, exactly. They uh, There's a, um, and theoretically that could even go into if the show wanted to explore the reasons of why people get powers um, in that, like the fact that the powers are related might end up having something to do with the fact that they were, were connected. And so when, yeah, by fate or something. Yeah, yeah, like exactly. That. And so, cause you know, there's, there's this sort of similarity between the powers that makes it so that they still synergize well or, you know, or whatever. Yeah, there's, right. There's definitely some like fun ways in which they can get into the uh, semi spiritual philosophical angle of what yeah. fate means with regards to relationships and bonds and all that. And that can be fun mm -hmm. that they explore later. And that's another if they want to build that into the world building, they can, but they don't have to. Right right now, uh, Lu Guang, at some point in the future, had access to clap time right. back into through photos and all mm -hmm. that. I think I think at the very least, something something with regards to the um Something with regards to the uh, the way in which uh, he doesn't do it, like, ever, uh -huh. can't be just like a, oh, well, we have no memory of him doing it because this is the time where he's never really needed to do it. No, yeah, I think... No, because the way he saves Chen Zhao uh -huh. every time is with physical, actual, like, yes. stuff I think, there. I think it's... So, um, well, this was only a tiny, tiny, tiny little slice of mm -hmm. the context for everything that happens with Lu Guang and all that stuff yes. and why this is the way it is. It confirms enough things that I think we can start to theorize a little bit yes. about what the situation is. Right. Um, one of the big things is, okay, what was the reasoning for his approach to why nothing can be changed? Is it because he's done this 10 million times and he knows exactly how it needs to go and so nothing can be changed and it's very precise to deal with butterfly effect, whatever? Or is it the... Um, which is what I think they're setting up here is that, no, this is the first time I've done this. Oh God. Oh God. And I don't think this, like all the things that I think about time travel say that this shouldn't be possible, but I'm trying to anyway. And so as a result of that, hmm. don't do anything. I'm just trying to change this one thing, you know? Right. And so, yeah, 
That would be that would be I would say the one that's the most simple. Mm-hmm. It's the one that's the most fun. It's the one that makes Lu Guang less godlike yeah. and more human. Right, and which I think is that's always part a good of the thing. motivation for it. So well, it's, it's also with the themes of the the story and stuff. Yeah, yeah, really exactly. Well. So if this is Lu Guang's first time doing this, mm-hmm. what I think is p- potentially at play here is that he literally can't do it anymore like he, he okay. literally he literally can't he had he he did something crazy to get to the point where he could do it then yes and he doesn't have access to that yes um an idea i had mm-hmm. that's a bit bit ridiculous is the idea that um the reason why we had the tear falling and having her tap into the memory uh-huh. of everything with cha ling is that when cheng jiao shi died the power that he had passed on to lu guang basically okay i like it so it's the idea of it being like a right yeah, in one final moment of his death he gets one leap and sure. in that moment he leapt and now he's like oh now I can't do it I have to and yeah. that's why he's panicking is that it's the I can't fuck this up because if I fuck it up I'm I don't know if I'll be able to do it right. you know a so, second time so okay okay actually wait I think I'm I think I think I might be starting to cook yeah I'm gonna go into some like computer programming terms here mm-hmm. the power of clapping. Yes. Is that just he has the exact same power, mm-hmm. like kind of power, uh-huh. and it claps and it does all the same stuff? Right. Or is it that he has the exact same instance of power and mm-hmm. it is, right? And so there's a transfer that has happened or will happen or whatever, right? right? Yes, and so, I believe so. Right. And yeah. then any potential impetuses for why that transfer would happen, like him dying like or something. Like him dying, yeah. Totally possible. Yeah. Another thing that I'm going to throw out, what if there's the possibility that actually what it was is that they had swapped powers originally? Mm-hmm. And okay. and Lu Guang gets to the point where, oh my God, it's all bad. And so he has enough information that he's able to, when he goes back in time, make it so that they get each other's powers instead, mm-hmm. which makes it so that he can actually observe things so that that way he can hopefully guide right. things and stuff. Sure. But then also so that that way he doesn't you know, he, he's not too tempted to, you know, change other stuff, right? Okay, so then how does he, how does he transfer I don't outside know. of some, like, specific cataclysmic event, you know? Right, I'm, I'm not sure. That, that's, that's another one of those things of, like, you know, uh, uh, a hat worn by the, by the future, right? You know, or a, a check to the future, you know, where well, it's, like... so, so here's, here's the evidence that I feel like we have for something like that, mm-hmm. is that, the antagonists thought that they could take Cheng Jiaoshi's power. We've always assumed that that was with regards Through the to just the possess him and then touch make him. him. And, yeah, 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 yeah. But it doesn't have to be that if we have this other person come into play who's been guiding yeah. mm-hmm. uh, Tian Shen. Sure. To be like, I I think you uh, uh-huh. you know need to go things a certain way. Oh, also something I will say. If Mr. Kian was not going to right. have any play in this at all. Yeah. He's just a guy who is paranoid and obsessed. Yeah. Right. And if it ends up being something since the um the one instance we have seen so far in the show of Power's Awakening is specifically with the two siblings. Right. We haven't seen it for for Lu Guang and Chen Xia because that was part of the premise of the show and all that stuff. And if they right. want to show us what that was at some point, they can. But in this specific mm-hmm. case, the powers happened as a result of the traumatic events events that they experienced mm-hmm. and the powers that they attained were very thematically tied to the things that happened to them. Mm-hmm. So is there a possibility that if you surgically changed the past so that the positions in the situation were reversed, sure. granted all of this stuff started a long time before that with, you know, her feeling disconnected from the world and all of that stuff. So it makes mm-hmm. sense that she'd be the passive observer with her power. Right. Yeah. But that you could, you know, then do that as the switch or something. Or if that's the case, was that just a happenstance that caused them to unlock the latent ability that they always had? Or is it something where Lu Guang and Chen Jiaxi experienced something semi-similar, okay. right? And that's why they got these powers in the first place. Sure. You know? Yeah. I want to throw something out here. Usually the first scenes in a show oh, with regards nice. to time travel are the most important ones. Uh-huh. And anybody that has watched any measure of time-related sto- or stories with time mm. time powers in them, I don't want to go and list all of them here for the sake of potentially yeah, spoiling yeah. the people that are just right. stumbling into those anime. Sometimes the fact that it has time travel is a spoiler. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Um, 
in the very beginning of this show, when they're sitting on the couch and Lu Guang is there talking to him, he's reading him the rules. He's telling him, this is the way things are going to go. Yeah. You're not going to change anything. Mm -hmm. You're going to do this. And then he's like, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You've repeated this a thousand times. <laughs> yeah. That, so, that is very, I'm, I'm glad you thought to do that. That is very because... fun because I want to I wanna throw out the idea uh -huh. that there's a possibility, mm -hmm. there's a possibility that if we go through the lane of things being, you know, uh, Things being switched, transferred, adjusted, or or what sure. have you, um, that the reason why uh, this is such a big deal for Lu Guang to you know mm -hmm. make sure the rules are all ironed out and everything is because this is so fundamentally different to you know everything they've ever done. You know, so sure, like yeah, and yeah, yeah, and I mean, and, and also just to just mm. to throw out there, it's. Their meeting, the way they became friends, always felt like a. Oh yeah, yeah this was a staged thing. This to is make a staged, sure that, convenient thing yeah. so that they could end up becoming close and stuff like right, that. Right, which also, um, uh, if you think about it, like removing the sibling situation from the equation, right? Sure. Which has its own reason for why the powers could be connected and all that stuff yep. because of the the bond that they had, where they relied on each other even right. before the powers awakened in some yes, way. Yes. Yes. So that naturally, when the powers awaken they follow the same kind of through line as the bond that they've had and the dynamic they've had, yes. right? And that feels like what they've uh, established from the beginning of this story with uh, Lu Guang and Chen Jiaxu, well, that their bond is so... Yes, tight. that is that is the... Right, well, it's a bond that, as was confirmed in this episode, transcends time. Yes. But with regards to in this timeline, mm -hmm. it absolutely, and even... Well, yeah, let's just keep it to the timeline that we have fully seen. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, that it does seem like something that's engineered. Yes. Where, yeah, maybe originally yeah. they found each other through some serendipitous thing or whatever, mm -hmm. but then it's the, okay, yeah, no, now when we're going and we're trying to engineer a timeline to go a certain way. Sure. Yes. Not only did we have this bond, but also, yeah, we need to make sure that, like, the two people with the, uh, with the, the beneficial or synergistic abilities meet and are close as early as possible so that that way they can grow mm -hmm. together and develop their abilities together and figure out how it works and all of that stuff so that then at the critical juncture of when things need to be different right. or whatever when you need to actually perform they're ready right yeah and that that could be something that lu guang set up that could be something that was set up by some crazy organization that got them who to knows? find each other in the first place who knows right yeah there's nothing there's nothing uh, limited in as far as that goes other than kind of how much the story is willing to try and suspend our disbelief. Uh, right. Which we're in a time travel story, so. Yeah. And Do the... you remember which um, client uh, story ends up leading them to, in season one, look at their origin story of how they met and stuff? I think uh, it, it was, was the, the basketball one. It was I the believe. basketball I think that's run, episode right? three. No, it's it's not that early, is it? I, I want to say. Is it? Because, yeah, yeah. Because um, then once they go into the one with the, the parents and everything, uh, that's like the, the aftermath of the basketball one, then it, you know, turns into the the much more complicated situation. Right, but did, they, I, did they not actually, like, I, show their origins before they end up going into the past of the basketball thing? Because I feel well, like... So I feel like they, it happens in the part two one then. Maybe, maybe it is in the part two of it, but um, it, it was definitely from this arc. And what I want to say, what I remember it being was that it was still something that was very like low yeah, here detail. We go, here we go, here we go. So they end up having... Um... Right, it was part of how they established that Cheng Jiaxi was really good at basketball, which was plot relevant to the whole thing of him being able to like once he decides to change things oh hey they end up winning right oh shit yeah yeah, yeah 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 right right here yeah this is nuts so they you know end up having that moment where they're like oh the rookie end up ended up going mm -hmm. really hard here and then the flash ends up uh happening because something was altered right maybe he you know, wasn't as good as at photography, so he forgot to change a setting that the 
you know, original guy would have or something. Well, right, like right, that. right, right. But then this is this is the first time the story addresses the idea of things being changed as well. Right. And that's why it was such a big deal. It's the oh, okay, like he actually actively decides I'm gonna do my own thing. You should join us since we're down a player. Wait, was that Change Out She who said you should join us since we're down a player? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Lu Guang ended up yeah, joining. Yeah, and, so, and that's, so, okay. And that's yeah. where I and think. And then watch, no, no, watch this. And okay. then everything else will follow and gets rewritten. Yeah. And, and that little bit happened. Yeah, that like distorted dark version of Lu Guang. Right, so, because, and then he disappears for a second there. Hmm. Whoa. Okay, okay. Whoa. So in that moment, Lu Guang is gone. And then he's suddenly back. He's about to clap here. And then he goes, don't. Yeah, where have you been, huh? Right, so... Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, uh... Yeah, yeah. so... And, and then he gives up some bullshit here about... So maybe that's actually... That actually goes to show that he does still have the clap power at this point, and he did a quick clap there. Like, now, it doesn't need to be that, because the main point of this is that this was at the point where their relationship didn't have a lot of trust. And so it was showcasing the scary aspects of being back in time, you know? Yeah, and needing Lu Guang to kind yeah, of... Yeah, and the way that they need to guy. be able to depend on each other and whatnot, right, right? right? Because in the, you know, in the same episode where it's the... Oh, you know, trust and all that stuff. It's also the, I'm going to break that trust, you know, and then, oh, hey, all this terrible, terrible stuff happens. Yeah, and the, uh, the earthquake, the mm -hmm. volcano, or whatever. I'm getting mixed up with your name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's, yeah, there's lots of things early on that feel like they're, they're, pointing towards certain thematic uh, things yeah thematic things or maybe details of what the situation is with mm -hmm. Lu Guang. right now that we got our first actual crisp detail the question on my mind is and i and i think on yours too is these things here that were seeded little bits was that mm -hmm. stuff to set the um tone or expectations within us that we can't entirely trust Lu Guang and something else is happening or were they beyond that, not just that, but also concretely telling us what was actually going on, right? Sure. Um, you know, Chen Shanxi telling Lu Guang, you've repeated this a thousand times, is that telling us that Lu Guang is a time traveler and that there's something more going on here? Or that, no, 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 not only is he a time traveler, but also he's tried this a thousand times already, yeah, you yeah. know? Yeah, and then we get the actual lyrics for the thing here. Yeah, we even have the whole thing of again and again and again and again, like... Like mm. I, I think I think we're pointing at the idea that he's he's absolutely done it a, a bunch now. Uh -huh. I think I think that he, while he's not you know some god or what have you, right? The point of him having to do it again and again is that he's not actually able to change it. Well, and that's... he's only able to do so much. So he's getting mm -hmm. better at changing it, maybe, and that's why he keeps sure. doing it. Sure, and, and also it... why he's. Well, that then goes into the thing of him being so particular of like, no, we can't help these people that really, truly do need help, you know, mm -hmm. because I'm trying to do this thing and I've been working on this so long and yada, yada, right, you know, right. I'm, I'm get like, which, which is fun because so the main conflict of the story very much is about the two of them, yes. right? And their relationship and all of that stuff, right. right? Especially now that we have it confirmed that Lu Guang is doing this because Chen Joshi died. Right. We could theoretically go into a situation where if he's been trying this over and over again, mm -hmm. it ends up being a form of denial where he's not able to accept the fact that Chen Joshi died yes. in the similar way that the antagonists have not been able to accept yes. what happened to their loved ones. Right. Which then also Everything informs the main characters. Like that's that's yeah. what these kinds of stories are, are definitely for, is that yeah. But you could also then run into a situation where maybe Lu Guang, a part of him even knows that. Mm -hmm. And what he's actually doing is he's just like, No, but I want to I will I will be happy not growing as a person if I can just live through this time with you over and over again. Right. And you know? that's 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 also one that works really well because it's it's the denial of the end being inevitable, but I still want yeah. all this time. And right. yet um maybe the fate part of it comes in where it's the yes, he could have died earlier. 
Like, Cheng Zhao Shi sure. might have been supposed to die at an earlier point in their journey, but every time Lu Guang does this, he keeps doing successfully a good job yeah, of pushing it Yeah, pushes it back, it back another week or it's something. It's a classic example of him, like, flying in on the bike and then leaping off as yeah. he's about to get on the boat. And, right, it's like, you know, okay, realistically... The, I actually, that's a good point. I think that might be what they end up doing with this because mm -hmm. um, if Lu Guang has been making sure that he's trying to not change things as much as possible, mm -hmm. he's not entirely successful at that because no. of change our shit, right? And how he is. Right. But if he is actually being fairly successful with it, mm -hmm. especially if, his, if he's been doing this a thousand times, I would think he's been pretty successful. The oh yeah, he can't account for Cheng Jiaxi is the this is my first time doing this. No, I need to tell you not to because I can't indirectly manipulate you to not do that stuff. Right, right. right. Um, then yeah, all of those times that he is saving the, him there, I would guess are probably times that maybe Cheng Jiaxi otherwise died or you know or right. whatever. I think yeah, I think the reason why I also really like the idea of them only having one of them at any given time having actual time travel stuff is because uh -huh. then the story can get a bit unwieldy. Yeah, so, so if both of them can time travel then right. it's like So what yeah. what what might work with this here is that it's the I'm going to give you the ability mm -hmm. so that you uh, so that I'm not like, so, well, I don't trust myself with this ability. Oh yeah. They, so then, what ends up yeah. happening? What ends up happening is he's basically like, you're the, you're the one that's going to have to do this, and this is where the story can build that bond, kind mm -hmm. of tied together by fate thing even more, is that every time Chang Jiaxia dies, the power comes back, and then he's like, well, I have to do it again, and then he sure. goes back. So then it's the Chang Jiaxia needs to be free to live and give all of himself here, but also he needs to avoid the temptation to do what I've been doing. Right. And not abuse this power. Yeah, which so could even be the part of that like distorted version of Lu Guang that we see for that right. minute in the basketball game. When he you know, blips bit. out and is no longer... Yeah, you know, and it's like, like... Because, like, uh, the, the part of this that is hard for me mm -hmm. is that what Lu Guang is doing here at the end of the day is very selfish. Very selfish. And yeah. very similar to the things that the antagonists have been doing. Yes. And so it can be really hard to see them be in situations where the antagonists also need help. Mm -hmm. And Lu Guang is choosing not to help them. Right. Doing that because, no, I have somebody that I want to save and I'm prioritizing that. Yep. Is and that's, that, that's that, it. That could totally be a very real and human thing and could be a it ton is of fun a very to real Yeah, human right. Thing. And it would be a lot of fun to explore. But if it's from the standpoint of, hey, we we still can fully be entirely on board in like the, yeah, he's the good guy, let's root for him every step of the way with Lu Guang, is if it's the, no, there was a part of me that was, that did turn into a bad guy. And so it's not a, it's not a, my needs are more important than yours. It's, no, no, no. I, I, I can't touch this. That goes to a yeah. place that is real bad. Yes. And you I know. think, I think that's, that's why it's not that. You can't change the past. He lied. It's the, you shouldn't. He yeah. has always meant that in his actions. It's not mm. that, it's not that um, you can't, because we know you can. We, that's the point of that basketball episode is that they did. It just didn't yeah. change the node, whatever that means. Right. But the idea of the past being changed, easy, yeah. easy to do. But, but the idea of, oh, nodes being changed. Well, then you become like a god and choose who lives and dies. Yeah. Then you have to then go and look at like the Titanic and well, you have to then decide, uh, oh, yes. all these thousands of people that drowned, I but have also, to save them or I'm not, I won't. And I'm a well, you're evil right, person. Exactly. And then the other element to it as well is that when we look at the times in which the nodes have not been able to be changed, they are as a result of Lu Guang's interference. Yes. It is totally possible that if Chen Jiaxi were allowed to run free, yes. that there would be a cosmic correction. Right. right? And the, or we would get alternate. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, There's the alternate lines. time world line things, which is the, the more straightforward thing that all the people that aren't as familiar with it are wanting, right? Right. But yeah. if it's something where there is some cosmic correctional force around, say, nodes of people dying, right, mm -hmm. that maybe we're going to run into later, we have not really seen those yet. Because all of the ways in which Chen Jiaxi, when he does things differently, aren't really... Lu Guang is 
navigate him, navigating him to avoid those things where that would actually come up, right? Again, that's where I get this whole vibe of this like steering wheel that he's like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, no, when, stop avoiding that. When there's the whole thing with the earthquake, him changing the outcome of the basketball game is not affecting the earthquake, no. right? Like that's that's no. not anything that's going on there. You know, at most it could be the when he goes out to try and save her, which makes her need to save him. Mm-hmm. And so she ends up dying. But that could be what happened in the first place. Yep. We don't know. Yep. Lu Guang was specifically controlling the information that he got. So who's to say? Right. To you say. know, but yeah, I'm, I am I want to see what happens when Lu Guang gets to the end of his rope and it either works or it doesn't, right? Mm-hmm. Like, like what happens in that space? Yeah. Yeah. And then this is fun because in a way, it's the show saying, well, so he did this. But like you're saying, what um what level of trust do we have for mm-hmm. Lu Guang? Because I would say that the show is trying to present that it's the well, we need to trust Lu Guang. He's seen things that none of us would believe in terms of how he's had to go through this whole situation. Sure. Yeah. But the consequences of his decisions will be the moment where Cheng Jiao specifically also then can have the like, wait. What did was Chow Ling talking about? You know, what is yeah, all yeah, this? Yeah, exactly. And that's why I love that the idea of upon death, things probably transferred. Like sure. that's that just feels so mm-hmm. right. But then having it be that uh Chow Ling didn't necessarily actually get any powers or anything. She well, could have Well, what's great about it is that but, because it was something yeah, that's up in the air. Lu Guang is not aware of what happened. What do you mean? Like the fact that they spied on him, like through his senses and everything, when he was kidnapped, he doesn't know they did that. Oh God, no way right? he could know that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so the fact that there's this stuff works, yeah. right? So the fact that there's this information leak is something that he has n- no clue about. Well, right? also it's something that's never necessarily come up unless he's caught up to the present, for him. right? Which but, do you think that's what they're implying with the uh, way in which they shot that scene where? They show him with blood on him and he's like, I'm, you know, I'm such a hypocrite or uh-huh. I think it was the lyrics that said that. But basically the, you know, I've been telling you all the time not to change the past, but I can't even follow my own words. Right. And then he claps, disappears. Mm-hmm. And then we show him sitting here for the welcome home party, mm-hmm. meaning that his leap back has caught up to the point where Cheng Joshi should have died. And it's the cool I did it. I don't think so. You don't think so? No, oh, I know. Okay. I think cool. that's still something that we absolutely have to look forward to. Okay. And so nice. that's that's where like because the even if it's a he's been succeeding and Chen Josh's moment of dying was actually something that happened way earlier and it's yeah been, yeah it happened you know that's a good times, point now like, now that now that we bring that side of things up I don't think that's actually what's going on because the the show has kept things very exciting as a result of its ability to have its cake and eat it with regards to how it pro- approaches the time travel. And right. I would say that's the main thing that it does that I haven't really seen other time travel shows do. Right. Because we have an active person who is not the prospective character yes. that is guiding things, yes. that is not letting other people know. And that's why I'm so excited that Xiao Ling got that bit of info yes. and that Lu Guang doesn't know about It'll it because that drama, means yeah. he cannot try to protect things and keep things sterile and mm-hmm. make it so that she doesn't affect things right. because he doesn't know that it happened. Right. And so like letting there be that sort of um, chaos factor, that chaos factor and yeah. that feeling of impact and consequence and progress in a time travel show, that's always the biggest struggle. Mm-hmm. And so the way that they're doing this with like the character drama of it all and mm-hmm. the keeping the secrets and everything, yeah, yeah, that's how they're, even if, even if like say, they end up doing things that like like I don't trust Lu Guang at this point. Not from like a he's keeping secrets, but like I'm not entirely sure I see him as like a. I don't. I don't. I feel like I don't want him to. I don't want him to get away with what he's doing because I like yeah. But even if that ends up happening, all along the way we're getting these crazy different things that are happening, and because we don't know what's going to happen the show is able to keep us in a constant state of suspense and and like mm-hmm. uh impact for whatever it decides to do even though we're in a time travel show where things can be reset yeah so that yeah fun. but all mm-hmm. right y'all thank you so much for watching the link click episode the link click anime reactions and mm-hmm. discussions uh, if you want to see the next show's uh reaction discussion that uh, i'll be choosing 
uh, before uh, next week, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get on early access there. You can watch full length timer reactions there. And all this comes with Discord access. So you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general. And also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. So yeah, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.